check this out it has a storage compartment in here you can put your guns in there or something I don't know or like candy or something. Good afternoon, YouTube. It is another beautiful sunny day in Texas. It is a high of 62 and that's great. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing this. Well, Texans don't know how to hold, uh, handle cold very well, but we make do. We make do with clean streets and lots of police. So, uh, I made a, a bit of a compulsive purchase. Yes, I did it, folks. I traded in the 2SS Camaro. You may be asking why. Well, because I just, so I bought a 1992 Yugo, just kidding. I bought a 2018 Corvette Stingray and I love it, holy crap. But there's a catch to that. Um, with buying a new car, because I kind of made this channel to be completely focused around the Camaro and modding it. great stuff and yada 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 well things have changed <clears throat> I'm gonna be rebranding the entire channel and it's going to be focused solely around the Corvette I've loved Corvettes for a very very long time I've always wanted one I've got one I'm gonna get it wrapped I'm going to do engine mods I'm gonna go the whole nine yards so please subscribe check it out you'll see a lot of content coming very soon I've been a, I've been a little quiet since episode one uh, that's primarily because I was so in the air about this and I've made some recent choices uh, that have kind of changed things quite a bit for me. One of them being a Corvette. Another deciding to build a new house. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. A lot of interesting things coming soon. Uh, I wanted to say something because I didn't actually get a chance to say this in my last episode. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Street Speed 717 uh, I've been following the channel for a very long time, and actually, he, Mike is the one who really inspired me to uh, move forward with actually making my own channel. And Vehicle Virgins, and uh, uh, Andy, Andy, you're awesome, I love the work you do, I hope to meet you someday. Uh, he's, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and put his channel thing right here. And there's a few others that I'll give a shout out to later, and, and I really do appreciate all the work you guys have put into this, because it's it's going to be a fun ride, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I, I hope to get to meet you guys sometime. I'd like to just have a road day with you and film and, and just have some fun. But other than that, without further ado, I'm going to show you a little bit of footage that I, I put together with, with the Corvette, but that also comes with some really, really sad news. I got up about maybe 300 I bought the car with maybe I think it had like six miles on the odometer and I, I got it up to about 300 and that's within a couple of days of driving but uh, yeah I hadn't had the car for a week I stayed over at my mom's house and in the morning when I was getting ready to leave I hear a really loud crunch sound and I'm hoping I'm thinking oh man I really hope that she ran over a box full of crayons or something I don't know just something <laughs> I walk outside and I see this my front bumper is split in two the fender is cracked in two places the wheel well is destroyed and it's all shoved into my driver's side front tire so I can't drive it I can't move it and I haven't even broken in the car past 300 miles yet and it's already destroyed <laughs> But to be honest, I, I felt so bad for my mom because the way I view physical things, I'm not a materialistic person. Uh, everything is temporary. Nothing is nothing lasts forever. Uh, some things go sooner than later. So, uh, yeah, there's that. She has insurance. She felt bad. I said, Mom, don't worry about it. Let's just let the insurance take care of it and forget about it. I'm going to get a rental. So they put me in this nice nice Dodge Ram. It's a good truck. It's, it's getting me around. And... And I like it. Uh, it. It's serving its purpose for the time being, and I can haul some stuff, move my kayak around, and stuff like that. But um, 
I'm really sad that I can't drive the car and I can't start this episode with me driving the car and talking about how awesome the experience was, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I'm just going to document the process and, and this is how the, the, the <laughs> it's funny because the, the channel is so new. I only have one episode out and I'm already rebranding it, but, uh, yeah, we're going to follow the process of it being fixed. The, I actually took it back to the dealership, not the one I bought it from, but another one. They're Ron Carter in Alvin, Texas they're going to take care of me. They're going to replace all of the parts that were damaged. Luckily, there was no frame damage or anything like that. Uh, all they have to do is replace some of the aesthetic things and we'll be good to go. But it sucks because I'm going to have to wait a while. They have to order all the parts from the factory to restore it back to brand new condition. And uh, yeah, yeah, that really, really, really sucks. But I did get some cool footage, so I think we'll just go ahead and finish off this first episode with the footage that I was able to get. Uh, my brother gave me his GoPro. He's so awesome. Uh, he's the best brother anyone could ever ask for. Uh, he always gives me really cool stuff whenever he phases things out and he buys technology like I buy gas. I mean, he's always getting new things. So, yeah, I've got some great audio. Uh, not I wouldn't say audio quality because the case, case kind of limits the quality of the sound in the GoPro, but it doesn't matter. I, I've, I've got some great footage for you guys and I'll try to throw in some fun music and so forth to start off the second episode, the official rebranding episode of Zonos Development. Uh, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 